Vito VR. Imagine the scene. It's 1994, your big brother kicks your door down and demands to show you every single nostalgic piece of 80s entertainment to put hair on your balls. Or nipples. I don't know. He sits you down in a chair, forcibly shows you Ninja Turtles, Thundercats, and some Tom Cruise movies. Stand and practice. But one particular one piques your interest. Top Gun. Fast forward 30 years, and your inner Iceman starts to vibrate as you discover VTOL VR on the Steam Store. VTOL VR is a simulation arcade flight sim. It lacks the fidelity and overwhelming cockpit you'll find if you play DCS, but more immersive physics and cockpits than that of Simple Planes VR. Get out of here! You both suck! It originally debuted in 2017, but now it's making waves in the PC VR world after they come out with official multiplayer support. Mm -hmm. And its first DLC, the AH-94, a multi-crew combat helicopter. But more on that later. Now, when you think of vertical takeoff and landing, you typically think Harrier Jump Jet or the F-35, but VTOL VR doesn't let its name hold it back. Jets and helicopters join hands in ceremonious harmony, and the same can be seen between VTOL planes and the game's non-VTOL jet, the F-26. Arcade-wise, you don't need to know anything about flight dynamics to enjoy the game because VTOL VR holds your hand in its tutorials. It's one of those easy to pick up, kind of hard to master games, and it's heavy on immersion. And now I know you're looking at this footage and you're thinking one of two things. I've never played VR before, these graphics suck. Or I have played VR before and these graphics suck. And I get that, but just wait a second. What VTOL does excel in is immersion, a very popular topic in VR. Now the reason the graphics may not seem as exciting as other VR games like Resident Evil or Half-Life Alex is due to the sheer magnitude of the maps available. Map size rating, big. The game has workshop support too, and a mission creator. So you can download or create your own intricate or basic maps and scenarios, like this one I found of Wales. So let's talk pacing. I streamed a single player campaign on Twitch where I had to surprise attack an airbase. I traveled a sneaky route, or so I thought, approximately 70 nautical miles, which took 25 minutes, to ensure I remained below radar, hashtag stealthy, only to get griefed by patrol jets right at the point I quick saved, meaning I was desperately bound to my fate each time I quick loaded until the game crashed and said, you've had enough old timer, maybe you should move on. How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? Now, this isn't the same for every scenario I've played, however. Playing this sat down late at night with the gentle hum of the chopper coupled with the raging alarms was more than enough to keep my focus on the task at hand, the instruments, and stirring my nostalgia of watching Top Gun and Airwolf for the first time. Do a victory flyby, wave to the boys! They're looking good. Wave to the boys! <laughs> Not with a window up my face! However, the Milson aspect is only half of this game, and if you've made it this far, congratulations, it's time to kick back and be an idiot and relax. Oh, my window's open, whoops. Brand if I die. Or in hell, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, here as well. Or here, yeah. we don't know. I mean, it might be here or hell. This could be hell. <laughs> so, since release, the biggest boost this game received was multiplayer. It's easy to set up and has built-in scenarios for co-op and PvP. Yeah. There was a multiplayer mod for this way back when, but I couldn't really get it to work well. And by the time I kind of found VTOL, the multiplayer beta had come out and, you know, I've just followed that route. Do a barrel roll! The co-op scenarios on release version are actually pretty fun. There's an aircraft carrier mission and talking someone through launching off what is hilarious. And a trial by fire as they fall into the sea. Lap to two. Launch bar down. Uh, let's do a little spin this round here. Alpha one one locked in one shields up oh. ready to go. Oh, oh god. Uh, oh shit. Right engine failure. The PVP aspect of this game is insane. I haven't joined a single lobby that isn't full of absolute part-timers trying to shoot you out of the sky to prove who's dangerous. I will congratulate the game though. The game is being developed by one guy. Literally one guy. And there's a healthy Discord community of players and people creating mods like the F-16, the Warthog, the F-117 Nighthawk, and a bomber. 
which if you've never flown planes before, that won't really mean much to you. But if you are a bit of a plane, you know, junkie or, you know, obsessive person, you know, you might get excited over those types of things. You know, you might go A-10 go but or something like that. I think they did break with the most recent update, but these modders don't really have social lives, so I'm sure they'd be back up and running in no time. Oh yeah, they uh, they modded a nuke too, so, uh, but uh, I guess use with caution. Was it mirror? And then signal. And mirror, signal, and, uh, and I guess menu? 